Why? Because there is there was a correct diagnosis of of some aspects of the economy and society. We answered correctly a number of issues. Number one, we rejected the politics of identity, the politics of tribes, of religion. We said no. What is crucial is not identity, it is interests. The fact that, and that's why we, 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 we emphasize patriotism. And our answer was private sector led growth. That's why the economy is growing, in spite of the corruption we are talking about, but the economy is growing. Uh, yes, there's corruption, there's no proper distribution of, uh, the, uh, of, of, of wealth, but the economy is growing. Why? Because of a correct analysis. So therefore, for me, I would want to advise you that if you really want to make a contribution, uh, study ideology. It's good that you want to go to Chankwanzi because it is in Chankwanzi where they take you through what we call political economy. Political economy is, is I, 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 I told these people when I came, we came from the bush to, to, to introduce a paper in all courses. So that confusion, because you see the, the big problem you the, you, you, the young people. It's the confusion you get yourselves in with these foreigners and all these. You, you really get lost. So, number one, the words development is for everybody. But wealth is for you. Uh -huh. Now, if you de if you if you if you you deal with uh, with wealth, then the next crucial thing is service provision. Service provision like like the the Mujusu man. The fourth point is jobs. Emily Mo. What you are talking about? Where do the jobs come from? It seems one of your people is saying there are many rooms in my father's house. That means he's stuck to the idea of government being the one to give jobs. But this is not a correct position. Because how can the government have jobs to employ all these Ugandans. Because you know the jobs. The government jobs are well known. All these roads we are building, they belong to everybody. And we can keep on pushing the development of infrastructure. But if you don't grasp the issue of the difference between development and wealth, wealth creation, of Gaga. In fact, in, uh, in our local language, it is even better, because the development is Nkura Kulana, Donglobo, in Luo, but wealth is of Gaga, of Gaga, Lonyo, in, in Achori. And we always advise you that what comes to your house is of Gaga, not Enkula Akulana. Enkula Akulana can be there or may not even be there, but you can have of Gaga still. Number one, development. Number two, wealth. 
Number three, service provision. Number four, job creation. When you engage in wealth creation, you create jobs. That's what the, that's what the God's man has done. By creating wealth for the 8,900 now, they have also created jobs for 1,000. So the 1,000 are not part of the, they are not the owners. Uh -huh. These are employees. Uh -huh. So the, the source of jobs is wealth creation. The majority of the jobs must come from wealth creation. The youth, if you say just youth, 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 ah, you are not going to go very far, you better understand the political economy of society. We can talk more, but now coming to all these issues, corruption, like uh, corruption, the, 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 all these um, policymakers are not in contact and, and all that, Th that the youth are marginalized in, in, in short. They, they are not, they are not uh, cared about. But we were aware of all this. I've told you that I started being involved at the age of 14. Because the government made a policy. Number one, this money has come to the parish, 100 million. Not only that, the 100 million must be divided like this, like this, like this. Uh -huh. So the, 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 decision, the policy is clear. Uh -huh. Now, you are from the parish, you yourself. How can somebody, the policy is clear, maybe what, what, what the center here should do more, the NRM secretariat is to speak more. Somebody made a very good point. I think it was the, the man of the, of the media, Kawesa, who, who said, give us information, give us information. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That information is there. The 100 million has come. 10% is for this, 30% is for that. Uh. So if I'm from the parish, how will I not insist on my share? Why would I not? You don't have time to answer it, but the next time I meet you, I want you to answer that. Finally, I want to thank you very, very much for entrusting us with work, and we, we should pledge not to disappoint you. Let us always find a quarterly, maybe uh, annual meeting for these youth leaders. Wunsa, like you had or court, is a brilliant man. So, so you are you are half saved. <laughs> so anyway, Your Excellency, let's find time more time for these young people. Your Excellency, the youth group of our population constitutes the backbone on which our economy must rely to to drive social economic transformation with innovative ideas. May I therefore take this opportunity to commend Your Excellency and your government for pressing the interests of the youth at the core. Your priorities through government's various livelihood interventions over the years continue to, continue to elevate the young and the old Uganda citizens. And us who have been lucky to work near or oh, with your, under your, your Excellency's leadership, we continue to be proud because we have had and we still have a father who has a heart to keep growing all of us, the old and the young. And we are proud of you, Your Excellency. We have and I have been given the honor to guide the discussions. You need to come to the floor. Representing them, 
civil society also means please that I hope you are able to also, as you present the challenges, all the guild presidents of the national of the national universities. Present. We have and appreciate. Uh, we will now hear from Mr. Sherira Obed, Youth Platform Africa. I'm going to say that if you really have a point, come and we discuss, we can solve this. And attended our annual general meeting, and we really have people before they get out of their offices, they should also be given time to go there. Let me conclude by thanking our team that is actually revamping the National Youth Council, and we pray that since they I come from Bugisu, the home of the best coffee, and I believe... Uh, in, of course, plus the councillors, that makes it 11. However, you can... Guard them. I want to speak about the relationship between media and uh, politics, for that matter. Media and politics are not just intertwined, but we're more or less, we're very symbiotic in nature. We depend on each other, we check each other, and all we do that in the interest of the people. 